Yo, what's going on guys? Sam here. Today I want to show you guys what's new in iOS 13 developer beta 6. It should be out for public beta testers shortly, but in the meantime, Apple has continued to tweak some stuff and I want to show you guys all the new features and changes that you can look forward to if you are running the developer or public beta. So if you're excited for this video, drop a like down below, hit subscribe for more, and uh, let's not waste any more time and just jump in here. So primarily I've noticed in this update that a lot of things like the big changes that happened in beta 5 that we thought were permanent are, are not actually permanent. So for example, the volume indicator. One of the first changes I showed you last week was that it had like 34 or 32 different levels. It is back to the traditional 16 as you guys can see right here. So that is sort of back to normal quote unquote same thing for screenshots right here When you do that I showed you guys that the rounded corners were a bug and I actually got confirmation from a source that that was a bug And what do you guys know in the next beta that was fixed as well Plus the LTE and cellular icon also was reverted back to its previous state. So again Apple preview to change I don't know if it was a bug or they just changed their mind But yeah again, it's back to normal not nearly as big as it was last week. So three changes that were pretty big in beta 5 have been reverted. So now let's jump into what's new in beta 6. First up in control center, I'm so happy to see that Apple has finally added this, but check it out. There is finally an option now for dark appearance. So rather than having to use like accessibility shortcuts, as I showed you guys that work around in last week's beta video, now you guys no longer have to even 3D touch here and then tap this to turn on or enable dark mode. As you guys can see, it is straightly accessible through a control center toggle. Now, you guys are probably wondering, okay, Apple adds dark mode, Apple adds a toggle for dark mode, where is the toggle for VPN? Because that's actually a really great question, guys. I don't know why Apple still does not have a control center toggle for VPN, but hopefully, uh, hopefully it's coming soon. But this too is a little bit different, so it now says appearance dark on, or appearance dark off until sunset, or on until sunrise. Uh, before I think it literally just said appearance dark and nothing else. There are a couple of new app opening screens whenever you launch these apps for the first time. Primarily, Apple continues to promote the heck out of Apple Arcade. That's going to be this feature inside the App Store that should be launching, uh, honestly, probably alongside iOS 13 or an iOS 13.1. Apple has said again, Apple Arcade is coming this fall. It is a subscription service for gaming. Uh, and primarily I wouldn't have any interest, but Apple's actually like integrating it across all devices. Apple's also got a ton of games on here at launch, a hundred plus games for one subscription, which is pretty crazy uh, with no ads, no additional purchases. So it's going to be pretty tempting. So obviously this is something Apple wants to promote. It's in the what's new on the app store launch page. Apple also says that app updates, they've moved because that's also really confusing when you look here and oh, they're not in the bottom right directs you where to go for real. Photos was also given the same treatment this time around, so you got your beautiful photos brought to life and it shows you, you can see your best photos from every day, month, and year. That is actually really cool. iOS 13's only been out for a couple of months and already I've noticed myself spending more time in this app than I ever have. Like I'm not a big, I don't know, look back on photo guy, but now I am. It also says you can now see all your photos at any scale, so pinch to zoom in and out of your whole photo library. And of course, much more powerful photo and video editing because that was very lackluster in the past. And now the, the photos app again, it just got a whole lot beefier. The folder background UI is a little bit different in iOS 13 beta 6, not primarily when it's like blown up, although I think this is tweaked just a little bit, but while it's like minimized. So let me show you guys what this looks like. So if I continue to hold down and then drag around, look at how severely the folder is impacted as I just throw it over here by the background. So it's super dark orange there when you know it's on something orange, but if I drag it back here, it's sort of in the middle uh, and the blur is a little bit different. I think it looks really nice. I think it falls in line perfectly with the other UI changes that Apple has made in iOS 13 uh, so far. And I mean, this is just, this is fresh guys. I don't know what to say. It looks really good. And I hope it's not a bug. 3D touch guys, it just continues to get better. I've been talking about this for a few weeks, how each and every single update, I'm like, you know what? Maybe Apple hasn't forgotten about us. Maybe 3D touches is actually and eventually getting better. And look at this guys. I've never been able to do this since iOS 13 came out. Like reliably 3D touch and have it feel like it used to feel on iOS 12. It is super reliable um, and I've said each and every single week it feels just about back but like this time it, it's honestly better. I don't know what Apple has done but I really want them to keep this change. If you have an iPhone with 3D touch, please try it out because yes, you can still long press and hold. That's how it used to be but now, I mean, instantly it responds to pressure. This is fantastic. I've been calling on Apple to do this forever and 
I'm really happy that the team decided that it was worth it in the end. Also new for 3D and haptic touch is link previewing. So this is gonna be per app as of right now. So if you change it in Safari, it like wouldn't affect it in um, the settings app or somewhere else. But now, let's say you don't wanna preview this. I actually really enjoy that part of iOS 13 or iOS in general since it's had 3D touch. I like being able to look at a link before I actually decide to go to the page. But if you don't like it taking up so much space, you can now enable hide link previews, which is a new option right here. So when you enable that, now watch what happens. When I 3D touch just as so, it now shrinks it down. It will just show the website name and a link rather than, as you guys can see traditionally, show link previews, it will blow it up to be a little bit larger. So if you don't like that, you now have the option to change it and it works pretty well. If you three finger tap anywhere in iOS now, you're gonna get this menu that comes up, which is gonna allow you to undo, cut, copy, paste, or redo. So before it was a bit more sporadic, but now I feel like it's a bug because even here, you can like show it when really you're never gonna need to like cut or copy or paste something from the music app. It probably doesn't work as expected. I mean, given it is a beta, but I mean, in Safari, it makes a little bit more sense. Let's say you wanna undo something, but it just kind of shows up everywhere now. So if you three finger tap, you can play around with that probably before it is, uh, it's pretty quickly removed. Inside of settings, there are not any new wallpapers, but as you guys can see, so you know, live is the same. You got these that we've had forever. I'm actually really looking forward to new wallpapers when they are released. If you go back here and tap on stills, again, nothing new just yet, probably in the GM summer coming, but uh, dynamic, uh, yeah, Dynamic's looking like they haven't had the best day. Now, we heard a rumor a long time ago, I think, that these were gonna be updated. So maybe this is the beginning of Apple actually doing something with them. I mean, honestly, they, they changed when the iPhone 10 came out. You have, like, this colorful one. But besides that, uh, I've never seen anybody use these in the wild. So, you know, maybe Apple's getting rid of them, or maybe it's just a bug and it doesn't actually mean anything because it is kind of weird that it's it's just completely like blank. Definitely a bug that will not make it to the, the final iOS 13 release. Performance has been about the same for me, but I think it continues to steadily improve just like battery life. My battery life has definitely gotten better. Um, I've had a really, really good experience where my phone doesn't seem to be dying as easily. I definitely wouldn't say it's better than iOS 12, but overall my, my battery life has been really good. So I appreciate that. I also think I've been charging my phone a lot more because I have like a wireless charger in my car now, but that is besides the point. Overall, I think you guys are gonna love iOS 13 beta 6. And you know, at this point, we're looking about a month away for iOS 13, guys. The beta's gone really well for iOS 13. Apple's made some great changes and let's continue to send some good feedback in so they, uh, they help refine the update before it comes out for everybody in just around a month ahead of the new iPhones. All right, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see all of you in my next video.